Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today I will be painting this tiny little water can. I'm so excited for this. I tried to clean out the inside, but there's like wax inside of it, so couldn't do any more. So I'm gonna try and deal with that later on. But either way, let's start off with the painting. Put down my very lovely crusty mat to not get my table dirty. Yummy. I'm going to be using gouache as the base to all the colors, so just listen to this pop. Oh my god, I love that so much. So I'm just going to put a blob of gouache and then mix some black into it. Try to give it a lovely chest compression. Trying to make it fart out the paint, but it's not working. So I'm just going to scrape it out with a brush. Now I just mixed it up and then I went straight into putting it on the lovely watering can. I do not know why, but the consistency of this paint just makes it so much better. I haven't painted on like stuff for a real long time, just like painting areas without caring what like the details are because I've just been painting little details. So this was just such a relief. And if you notice, the grey when it dries turns much much darker than it first was for some reason. I have no idea how that happened. But yeah, so here's me putting on the second coat. See how much darker it is? It's so unbelievable. Oh my god, I just noticed that black spot on the handle. Oh, it annoys me so much. No. I really hope I... I don't know if I actually got rid of it or not. I'll see. So I finished off the second coat. I just did the bottom now. And then I went in with some more detail, which were the lovely... Not veins. What do you call it? It is a vein. No, it's not. It's a, it's, I forgot what it's called. It is a vein. Okay, it just had a massive blackout. It's a vine. <laughs> How did I forget that? So I just put vines all over the can. Not a can, a watering can. What's wrong with me? Am I having a stroke? Doesn't matter. I made a light green for the vines, nearly said vein again, and then put it all over the watering can, like in a crisscross, just all over the place. For some reason my brain was like, oh this is a little too grey, so I just put some green on the rim of the watering can, and I think it made it pop much more, and I'm really happy I did that, because it just looks prettier. I don't know why. And then I also coloured in the little area where the water comes out of to make it more green I guess and that also made it look really pretty I thought about the handle but then changed my mind because I already made the little swirl on the back and I just went over that whole thing with another layer of the light green because it darkened a and B it wasn't completely covered so I just covered that up completely after all of that tried I went in with some normal green posca and went over the vine just to make it like a little more dimensional not to like shade it but like a little bit of shading you know because we love shading and yeah just made it pop a little bit and then i added some like little dots and the half circles onto the little endy part where the water comes out i don't know what it's called so don't judge me just listen to how crusty this lid is oh yeah for the flowers, I just decided to go plain old white with some daisies, because I am called Daisy Art for a reason. Did you know it's actually my middle name? It's not just a random name. There you go. Fun fact. So I just made some daisies that don't really look like daisies. Some of them look like normal flowers, but no one cares. So just leave it alone. And I did three of them on each side. Always one big one and then two smaller ones just randomly placed around the vines. They actually turned out real cute, honestly. I love this can so much. By the time I had finished the last flowers, the first ones actually dried. So I just went in with a second coat right there on the spot just to speed up the process because I'm lazy and not patient. <laughs> so I just, I will make a second coat on wet paint because that's just my logic. I painted one more coat on the flowers off camera, so now I grabbed a, a hoo hoo marker, a nice grey one, and made some details onto the flowers because I'm really not in the mood to use tiny little brushes to do tiny little details because that's just not fun. 
and I want this video to be fun and relaxing, okay? And then I grabbed my yellow paints and got painting and I did a few layers of that as well on each of the flowers so that's that was boring because the yellow wouldn't layer properly on top of the ohu markers <laughs> no and after a little bit more detailing with the markers this is the finished result i'm actually really happy with this this is the before so this is much much better than it was before uh there is a hair stuck in it though but that's the bottom so we're not going to judge that I have no idea what I'm going to use it for, maybe like a candle holder, oh, I've got these really adorable candles, could be like that, but I don't know, I don't know if they'll start burning as well, so we'll see, I'll find some use to it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, come back, <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one, bye!